Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And he popped down the cup and I said, Red Bush, and he went, No, I'm a natural blonde. Well, hello, and welcome to Chewing the Cud. This week we are welcoming back the yin to my yang, the lady die to my Camilla. It's Lee. Oh, reunited and it feels so good. Gotta have that one. Or you can have, guess who's back, back again. And that's all I know. I'm going to pick a different one. That's all I've got. Okay, good. Um, but what have you got for us today in the showbiz? I have got some news about a brand new musical that is coming this way. Oh, <laughs> Coming this way was funny, was it? Yes. Okay. Um, but on screen now, you can see all of our contact info at the Could TV on social media, where you can follow us, could.tv for our website, and on YouTube and podcast services, look for Chewing the Could and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who do or do not follow us scroll across the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> How do you avoid an awkward situation? Well, there's one right now because where's your? Where, how do you know what you're saying? Where's your laptop? Have you memorised it? Is this a thing now? <laughs> Have I remembered stuff? Yeah. I may have remembered stuff. Oh, my word. Mm, professional. Don't be expecting that from no, me. No, don't expect it from me either. I've got it on my phone there just Oh, the that's okay. okay. Um, how do we get out of an awkward situation? Yeah, yeah. Usually shout shark and point, and then when they all look, I go in the opposite direction. Okay. That Works happened. every time. Every time. Every single Middle time. Middle of Asda. <laughs> Going down a local market. Shout shark. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this is a story about a Chinese hospital. Okay. That have, have combated an embarrassing situation. Mm. Which is, they've come up with a way of basically creating a glory hole so that men can donate sperm without getting embarrassed. So if, if you're feeling a bit shy about masturbating in hospital, you can just stick your todger in this I'm hole. I'm always shy about <laughs> masturbating in a yeah, hospital. But when you're supposed to be. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> Rather than walking through, you know, intensive care, so actually you one out, you have questions. No, I have questions because uh, not that I have donated any of my own baby batter to... <laughs> You've just, just <laughs> baffed off in hospital. <laughs> I one would imagine that... You don't do it in the middle of a ward. <laughs> no, you don't. You do or it in an office. You they send you to a room. You go to a room. Sometimes you have a curtain. Yeah, so that why would you be... Because nobody's going to see you. No, but people can walk in and stuff, so it's it can be a bit nervous. Well, what's more embarrassing, you with your hand... Your Johnson in your hand, <laughs> oh, or stood against a wall going... <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know which I would prefer. Um, which one's that? <laughs> Being hunched double. <laughs> hunched double trying to find the cup. Oh, no! <laughs> OK, so basically it's a flashlight in a wall. Yes, pretty much, but with a whole, with an extraction, a little bit of suction. Oh, right, so OK. It, it removes like, the juice. Like when you were a child, well, I'm just going to say child, I'm going to say teenager, <laughs> and you went swimming and you put your, your peewee in the, in the jet that was coming out of the, the side of the pool. You've done it. Yes, you have. You put your penis. Yeah, when you in at the, the swimming in the water pool. Jet. Yeah, push that. That kind of <laughs> sprays the water out underwater. It creates like a it doesn't create a vacuum, but it it it, it there's resistance. <laughs> so the story of this isn't about medical invention. Um, it's about Lee shafting a swimming pool. I haven't done it for a very long time. <laughs> I, I, I did used to, to like hang off the side oh, and well, let it blow on my back. To what? To let it blow on my back. Oh, OK. Yeah. Sometimes I did that in the pool as well. Oh. Um, but yeah, $13,000 it costs to install. Is it just one? Is it just the one? <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> one and a lady with a damp rag. <laughs> oh, nice. No, but oh. the, the, the lip on the outside is, is interchangeable, so you're not Oh, OK. So they give, you, they give you a set of... Lips. Well, not. It's not even a set of lips. It's just a. a, a it's just a ring, sheet. isn't it? Yeah. It's just. A, it's just a rubberized ring. Yeah. Okay. Is that is is that like is it like a membrane there? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it catches the, the 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 love potion. I'm going to call it. Is that where it goes in? Yeah. Is yeah. that where the penis goes so, in? So you pop. So you pop the little the diaphragm over. I'm going to say. Okay. Right, and then you just basically hump the wall. Right, okay, until you... Da-da! And then, yeah. Yeah, okay. Until well... You shoot your wad. Whatever, whatever. But that's not embarrassing, you see. No, that's not embarrassing the slightest, is yeah. it? No. 
yeah, shall we move on? Yeah. Okay. Where did they? Where is there a manufacturer? For <laughs> Would you like the link? Yes. yes. I think I. Let's go say I do know someone that's selling blowjob machines for fifteen pounds. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Turns out it's just a twink in the back of a bathroom uh... stall. But um, moving on, weddings. Okay. It can be quite expensive affairs. Uh, it, as expensive or as cheap as you want to make them. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Um, so wedding breakfasts. Yes. You're familiar with the wedding breakfast, like before the actual Which is just day. the meal, isn't it? It's just the, the, the it's dinner. The, the meal before the, the ceremony, though. We don't really do that in this country, though, do we? We don't. We, like, have the marriage, mm -hmm. and then we have the food. Yes, and mm. then we have the dance, and then we have the drinking, and then we have the fight. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, is that just my family? Probably. Okay. Uh, well, this is a story about a bride who was horrified when she caught her husband to be eating just before the wedding. Was he eating Fanny? Worse. Cock. Who was eating his mother's lactations. I mean, I'm glad you said it was something that came out of her. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than something that went in. Was she breastfeeding him? She was uh, no. breastfeeding her son. No. <laughs> what are you knowing for? <laughs> no, it's not right. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you mean it's not right? It's just weird. It's very weird. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> how, how did she not find this out before? It, it was she walked in on them doing it. Yeah, but, the... but, but it was not like she not thinking, just, warning like, why does he keep disappearing? <laughs> where does he keep going? This cup of tea she's made tastes a bit weird. <laughs> Your breast. Breast? <laughs> Your breath smells very sweet. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Choices were made. Okay, so, yeah. so she walked in on... Mm -hmm. And I, then married I, him. And, and she married yes, him. She still married him. Oh, okay. Well, you can overlook a small thing like <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's like suckling on your mother's bosom. Bosom? On the day of your wedding. Oh, okay. Are the photographs of these people? How can we see their faces? Can we... No. No. What's the point in selling a story to the newspaper if we're not going to see your face? Well, they didn't tell the story to the newspaper. The bride told one of her friends. Who then told... Who then told the newspapers. I went, guess How what happened? How bizarre. Yeah. I mean, it is a, that is a fetish. Mm. I, I understand. Not sucking on your mum's tits. <laughs> okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. It can be kind of fetishised, but... But certain men do find that very erotic being breastfed. Okay. And you can go to... A wet nurse, ladies. <laughs> yeah, you can. There was a there was a documentary on it, and okay. they dress. Usually, they dress as like big babies. But well, the men or the women? The men. Okay. And like a big got very suit. dark very quickly. And, yeah, and then she keeps going with her lactations. <laughs> keeps going with her lactations. She does. Yes. Okay, and if you're still going with your lactations, you can share that with us <laughs> at the Good TV on social media, and that brings us to our story of the week. Now, Hoover's. Mm. Do you have a particular Hoover at home? I have a Dyson upright. Um, mm. I did. I did have a Shark upright, okay. uh -huh. but um, it didn't last very long. I like to Hoover vacuum <laughs> a, a do, lot. Do, 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 need a wet and dry. <laughs> <laughs> You're not saying no. Is this being is this <laughs> relating back to the Chinese hospital story? No, this no. is a different story. Oh, okay. Uh, this is about people who are horrified. And disgusted as they've remade Henry the Hoover. Oh, okay. So, yeah, there's Henry the Hoover. Pre makeover. Pre makeover. Okay. Right. Um, and do you want to see him post makeover? Go on then. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Is that. That's What's the, the matter with his face? <laughs> they've, they've stuck it on where they killed. On a one. They've made it to an upright, right, and gone, uh, we need to put a Henry face on it. So well, they, they should have. The, that, eye should, that eye should be there, <laughs> and the smile should be central. That, that's your problem with the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, who? I mean, not the uh, Henry Hoover's that wow. cylindrical Hoover. Yeah. it's a bugger to get around. If you're like trying to Hoover vacuum and it gets stuck around the corner, uh -huh. and you pull, there's been has been well, one accident when. The Hoover has gone and shot round the corner and taken somebody out. 
Um, <laughs> so you damaged yourself with a Hoover. I didn't have a Henry Hoover because they're very, very expensive. Yeah. They tend to, Henry Hoovers tend to be like um, using workplaces. Yeah, because they're, they're very reliable. Yes. They've got, a, they've got a, apparently a very good suck. Yeah, you can, you can, yeah. <laughs> this, you can what, Lee? No, I, I've promised myself that uh -huh. this year I will not swear as much. Okay. I, and I nearly, <laughs> I nearly said something very offensive about Henry Hoover. Is she, is she, is this person behind this? Stick the stucking my thing in the in a hole to, to, to she looks like she is. It's like she's got she a looks like she's in the sink, is that yes, what she saying? She does, yes. Yeah. Um I She's got a very pert bottom. She she, she does, yeah. Well it's all that pushing that Henry the Hoover around. Um <laughs> I find that an upright, mm -hmm. although it's very convenient mm -hmm. in, in being able to move it around the house, uh -huh. you have to charge it a lot. Okay. Because it doesn't last very long. I have a I have a big cylindrical oh. wired up. Because I don't mind about, you know, I can move it round a corner mm. without injuring myself. Excuse me? <laughs> but that's all we have from the buzz this week. Cheers, great. Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, Lee. Well, stick around because next we have Lee and the show is news. <laughs> you're watching Chew in the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready to hear him ramble on about things in the showbiz. It's Lee. Have you, have you had some new teeth, Bird? No. Struggle, struggling with your words today, aren't you? Yeah, that's a little eggs have kicked in. Mm, nice. Anyway, oh. do you know, what, what does the world need right now, this very minute? I need a tissue. Do you need a tissue? Yeah. I did say the love eggs have kicked in. Oh, OK. Mm. What do I think the world needs right now? Mm. Um, it's love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's not. There's no, just it's too not. little love. It's not though. We need no. we need a, a musical, a drag queen themed musical that to to be created uh -huh. that will open in Manchester in summer. Uh -huh. oh. mm. So there's a new musical called Drag Addict. Okay. Um, and it's going to have its world premiere in yeah. this very city, which we do record in. In Manchester for In tonight. Manchester in the summer. Oh. Um, it's written by Matt Cain okay. and David Andrew. Um, so Matt Cain mm -hmm. is um, a very prolific LGBTQIA writer who That's has written it. a number of books. Mm -hmm. That's his latest book, The Secret Life of Albert Edgesall, which is a very good read. Is it? It's all about a postman uh -huh. who um, comes out later on in life. Oh. Um, <laughs> just, you know, blooms. Itself. Anyway, so it's, it's written by him and David Andrew Wilson. And it's also written in collaboration with Arlene Phillips. Arlene. Arlene, <laughs> of, formerly of um, Strictly, until they got rid of her because they wanted Someone somebody else. else. Yeah. Um, so it's a brand new... She, she does all the dancing. She does the dancing in it. The dancing. She doesn't do the dancing in it. She choreographs She tells people how to do the dancing. She's a choreographer. Yeah, a choreographer. 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 Yeah, me thinking about saying it. Yeah, then. yeah. So, so, <laughs> so Matt Cain has said that in his novels and his journalism, because he was former editor of Attitude magazine, mm -hmm. um, he's always he's always loved exploring themes of LGBTQ plus identity, culture, and community, asking what it means to be gay or queer in our modern digital world. So it's a real thrill to be opening up this new channel for creativity. So it's based in Manchester, mm -hmm. and it's 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 so apparently what I can they've not given a huge amount away about the storyline. Um, but it is it's about um a, a drag queen called Dolly Ravage. I know. You like that name, don't you? I do, but then I, I, because it's clearly Lily Savage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, da -da. Yeah. Um, so she's battling. What was, what was that then? Lily Savage, Dolly Ravage. What did the noise you made after that? Because it's like, um, Okay. Yeah. Um, so this character is battling to save a Manchester club in the gay village from okay. being closed down, uh -huh. whose life is upended by the arrival of a mysterious American. Oh, oh upended. Yeah, I was, I was trying to save a venue in the village. Mm. Which one? Who? It's fictional. All oh, right, it's okay. Not I thought it was based that... on real life. Well, it could it's be. Inspired by, <laughs> ah, it's inspired by. Ah, inspired by. So it's going to be playing in home in Manchester mm -hmm. from the 18th of July to the 13th of August. And further details are going to be revealed about who's going to star in it, prices of tickets and things. Oh, my. 
I may well... Um, I think we need an outing. I think we may... may. Do you think we can get some free tickets? I'll see what I can... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> right. Well. So let's move into a bit. So, celebrities, uh -huh. they like to refresh themselves, but they don't like to talk about it. Like so, to share. Moment. Yeah. They don't, so they kind of will go away with one face, come back with another face, mm -hmm. and say, oh, I've just had a really good night's sleep, which quite clearly they've had their face peeled off and stapled back off. Like when Britney went away with a knee operation, came back with bigger boobs. With massive boobs, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, Christina Aguilera, mm -hmm. she's not having any of that. She's teamed up with an, with an anti-wrinkle injectable company okay. for a new campaign. Mm -hmm. um, I don't... I don't think that's the... See, I couldn't find any promo shots for right, that, so okay. <laughs> random pictures of Britney Spears. No. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> tell her that, because she looks a lot like Christina Aguilera. That. That, now, now, that is from a couple of years ago. Uh -huh. um, but I kind of thought, she's like, oh, look at my Smith this. So she, <laughs> so she, <laughs> she is, she's, what she's saying is that she's finding it reassuring mm -hmm. to know that she has backup in the form of anti-wrinkle injections. See. I want to know where they've tested it because I would greatly believe that anti wrinkle serums and stuff should be tested on scrotums. Oh. Because you can get one of them smooth, it'll work. Right. Which, are you volunteering? I've, I've quite often asked people to rub cream into my scrotum. <laughs> Inject into your scrotum. Yeah. Anyway, she's 42. 42. I know. She's wow. A little bit older um, than so me. she's teamed up with this company, which is used to improve the look of frown lines um, and, and just generally retain a natural look. Now that's about three years old, and with a lot of airbrushing, a big bulldog clip at the back. But you know, so what she told she told People Magazine, "I'm always interested in finding new products that excite me and make me feel my best." <laughs> well, thanks. Quite opposite. She said, this company felt like the way to go because it doesn't have any extra ingredients. And she didn't say what the other ingredients were. <laughs> extra ingredients, and it's a reassurance to know that no matter how tired I may be. I have a backup. So I suppose she kind of like wakes up and goes, I feel a bit rough today, and then goes, come and inject my face. And somebody comes around and injects it. Um, oh, I've done that before now as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't use the word inject. Oh, okay. So she said, we like expression, especially in my line of work. I don't know what she means, we. We like expression. I don't want to have a frozen face, whether it's being on camera or performing on stage. I have to stay authentic to my emotion. She has been all right with it. Mm. Uh, Do you see burlesque when yes. Cher sang? Right? And she said, I feel sad. This is a really sad song. I mm. feel sad. This is a really sad song. And oh. it's like. And she gets out of the plane on Mamma Mia, too. Let's go to the story, little girl. That's it. That's what she does. So, <laughs> Christine Ogle has a 15 year old son. 15-year-old mm. son called Max, and she's got an eight-year-old daughter. Mm. Um, and what she's saying is what she's she wants to change the perception of getting older being a negative thing, as people should appreciate their new eras. So she's just getting a face full of, of injectables to kind of put that, that across. Um, yeah. I found edibles help as well. <laughs> <laughs> just the way you look at people. You just don't care about yeah. if you've got wrinkles or not. Um, <laughs> she says, I've seen myself go through different stages of my life and complain about certain things. As I've gotten older, I look back and think, God, every stage is a new era and I'm really into feeling more self-assured as you get older. That's something truly... She'd been tr talking to Madonna. <laughs> That's a very well, Madonna thing. I, I mean, it's, it's a bit... <sighs> It's all that's all good and well, isn't it? Yeah. But you're injecting something into your face. There's no details of what it is that's in that injectable. It could it could be anything, couldn't it? It'd be silicone. It could be. It could be old pond water for all we know. <laughs> but you know, I don't. You know, if you want to go and have it freshen yourself, mm -hmm. by all means, go ahead. As long as it's as long as it's done well. As long as it's done well. Yeah. And you don't look like you've been stretched over a canvas. And, and airbrushed, then, but then that might be what some people want to look like. That's true. Mm. Anyway, let's move on to the last bit of showbiz news. Were you a fan of Practical Magic, the movie? The movie? Yes. I, I, I was a little bit of a fan of it. A little bit of a fan. Yeah. So, so there's a poster of the original, which starred Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock, and they were witches. Mm -hmm. They came from a family of witches. Yep. And, um, and it, was, it, was, it was a very... Of its time film, but it was a good film. It was a good film. It was a good film. But so now, like with everything in life, they're going to make a sequel. Okay. So it's Practical Magic 2, 
2, not Tool. tool. Back to Film Magic 2. <laughs> yeah, that's a different film. <laughs> I was just saying, go back to Love X. Yeah. Um, the Rules of Magic. Well, this is the mock up of, of the poster. So the original cast, including um, Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock, are said to be on board with it, as well as uh, Stockard Channing and Diane Weiss, who were in the. So, so Stockard Channing and Diane Weiss played the sort of aunties mm -hmm. sort of witchy aunties of the of the the couple um this is that this is from the very famous scene um midnight the midnight margaritas. margarita scene where they're all singing and dancing and it's very gay it's very gay um, yeah yeah uh, but yeah. quite dark at the same time because they kill a boyfriend and bury him in the garden yeah, yeah. and then, there's a and then bring him back to life there's a bottle of tequila there it's like where's the tequila from yeah someone yeah. left it on the porch someone left it on the porch okay so you weren't a big fan at all. No, right now. I hated it. Um, so the sequel is to pick up 25 years after the first film oh. with Sally's granddaughter, now 16, mm -hmm. and there's a family curse that descends upon the family, forcing them to travel across the country to find the source of the curse in the uh, long-forgotten Owens family coven. Oh. Mm. So the first film was based on a book, Alice Hoffman's The Book of Magic, and this one is going to be, be based on the follow-up story. Okay. I'm not sure... Why? If it's if mm, they have done a remake of The Craft, okay, and it's on Netflix and it's awful, <laughs> and The Craft is a good film, very much nineties film, mm. but the remake is awful. You really? just hope it doesn't doesn't. I'll be follow the same same path. Well, it's not a remake though, is it? It's a sequel. It's a sequel, but then you don't know. But it's got the same actors in it. Yeah, Nicole Kidman's not done a bad movie. Since Australia, she's not. She's not shy of the freshening of the face, is she? <laughs> no. Well, it'll be interesting <laughs> to see just for that. I'm a witch. That kind of thing. Yeah. No, but anyway, she, she's always had it done quite sympathetically, doesn't she? Sympathetically. Oh. Oh, oh bless. Uh, anyway, there, the, I wouldn't hold your breath because it's it's marked to come out in 2025, which is a long time off. Dead by then. Yeah. <laughs> quite possibly. But you know, if if that your thing, go buy a ticket or stream it or whatever people do nowadays. That, yeah, that's the end of this week's show business. Thanks for that, Lee. For whatever people do these days. Um, but stick around because coming up next we have our game of the week. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. This week we are playing Lazy Susan's Question Roulette. And this is one for the irrepressible Lee. So off you pop. You said we were going to stop doing these. Irrepressible? No, the whole thing. Whatever. Watch your head. Game of the week. So Lee's going to spin the lazy Susan, ask a question, I'm going to get it right. And then what, whatever one lands in front of me, that's the one. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Hum that tune. <clears throat> okay, so I, so I just basically hum this and you've got to guess what it is. Yeah, okay. almost like we called it Hum That <laughs> Tune. I was just, I was just clarifying. <clears throat> okay. Well, I need my I need a bit of live suction on my chin. Look at that! What's going on there then? <laughs> not happy with that. Ooh, should hold my head for her hand there. <laughs> oh, you've lost me. I have. Yes, yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> um. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No idea. <laughs> that was letting go by Adina Menzel. That's not okay. the tune, but okay. Let's pop that back then. Pop that one away. Spin it around. That's Callum and Oaks on that, spinning around. Oh, now you see, it's not a, not definitely on. So you get to pick. Oh, we'll, we'll go we'll go for nineties. Okay, I was alive in that decade. <clears throat> okay, the nineteen ninety one self titled Metallica album is commonly oh no, um, <laughs> I'll start again. The nineteen ninety one self titled Metallica album is commonly known by what nickname? The one with the baby. No, that would be Nirvana. Mm. I wouldn't know this. It's not really a very homosexual friendly question, this. 
Okay. Black Album. Oh, yeah. Did Almighty do a remix? I don't think so. Make a mix. Spin it again. <laughs> Rock and pop. Oh, I like rock and pop. Okay. Which Canadian sang complicated in 2002? Have Lorvine. Oh, you got one right. We have to say well, like you're southern as well. Don't she's, still, Ravine. <laughs> she's still around. She is. She went and made things complicated. Mm. He was a skater boy. He said, see you later, boy. Soundtracks. Okay. Okay. In the 2013 movie, The Great Gatsby featured the song Young and Beautiful by which artist? I would have. People like her. She's very niche. Very niche. Young and Beautiful. Niche. RuPaul. Pardon me. No, it wasn't. It was Lana Del Rey. Oh, you put the records on. Oh, Lana Del Gay. No, she didn't sing that song. Which one did she sing then? Which one? Lana Del Rey. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna go for 90s again. We've just had soundtracks. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, they're not very gay friendly, these questions. <laughs> Which band released their album Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness in 1995? The Infinite Sadness? That was my gay dad name for a while. No idea. No. The Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, I used to like the Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, Going I... to the country, gonna eat me a lot of peaches. They didn't sing that. I didn't sing that. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Rock and pop. <clears throat> what was the name of Pink's 2020? No. What was the name <laughs> of Pink's 2019 album? Mm. Pink. What about us? Well, that song was on it, but it wasn't the name of the album. Um, Pink Four. <laughs> The revenge. It hurts to be human. Ah. Two and a B. Hurts as in the hot dog. Hurts as in the hot dog. Yeah, oh no. Hurts. hurts as in physical. Oh okay. Mm, okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm gonna hum that tune. <laughs> Great. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know anymore. I've got a song in my head, but I'm not sure what it's called. Wouldn't it be nice? Yes! We were married. Yeah, you got it. To get along. Yeah, you got it. That's two points. What was it? Wouldn't it be nice? Bye. The Beach Boys. Oh, okay. Rock and pop on there. Hum. We'll, we'll give you another hum that tune. Oh wow! As you're it was spoiling so successful. Us. Oh okay. Oh okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know the verses or the, the majority of the chorus. <laughs> of <laughs> you make a mess on that new seat, you'll clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> any any clues? Surprisingly, no. No. Okay. Um. um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I don't. I can't what do it. What was it? What was it? Uptown Funk by Mark Ronson. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? Uh. Uptown Funk, just give it to it. Uptown Funk, just give it to it. Don't believe me, just. Um, do, 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 do that. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I couldn't. <laughs> That's not even the tune. <laughs> well, you know. Oh, we're gonna go rock and pop. Okay. <clears throat> Little Monsters is the nickname given to fans of which singer? <laughs> 
So, um, a, a monster is what we used to turn in our family when you know you're little and you're referring to your body parts. So, um, we used to refer to our penises as little monsters. What? Yeah, yeah. Girls had a tuppence and boys had a monster. What? We're a very well hung family. It's Lady Gaga. What? <laughs> You're right, but we'll be revisiting this conversation again. <laughs> Will we? At a later date, you weirdo. Why is that weird? You call your penis a little monster. When, when we were little, boys had a little monster and girls had a tuppence. A little monster? What? Yeah. Because <sighs> enough. <laughs> yeah, that's very bizarre connotations. What? It's not like when people call it a tail. It's been calling it a monster, a little monster. <laughs> little monster, it's one-eyed monster, isn't it? Come here, little monster. You know which what, what are you doing? All right, I'm spinning it. Oh, it's your favourite. Hum that tune. Oh, great. All right. Hmm, 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 See, it could be one of two songs. It's either Boys to Men, I Swear, or it's Sting. Um, not Sting, what's his face? The one with the drums and the gorilla and the chocolate advert. <laughs> I can feel it. With the drums, in the chocolate in advert, you know, in with the drums, <laughs> yes. Phil Collins. Mm -hmm. And um, I can feel it in the hair tonight. Yes, it is that one. Yes. Yeah. It was not the other one. So it was Phil Collins and I can feel it in my hair tonight. Yes. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not enabling you with that joke. You're not enabling me, okay? No. You're agreeing that it's right, but you're not. 90s. I think we'll make this the last one, though. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well Australian pop star had a hit in 1997 with Ooh Ah, Just a Little Bit. You're my love, you're my fantasy. Do, 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 do. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Doing really well with the lyrics there, aren't they? <laughs> and she, 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 she did the Eurovision. She did the Eurovision. Mm. Did we win it? With well, we came. I think we came third or something like that. Okay. Well, it's good to come third, I think. Um, is it Gina G and just a little bit? It is Gina G. Yeah. Well done, you. Yeah, bored of that now. So um, stick around because coming up next we have Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now get your sticky back plastic out and wipe down your glitter spreader as Lee is in Crafty Queens. I'm, I'm, we're going natural with this week's Crafty All right, Queens. Okay, one second then. Um, we're going to wrap, you know, we're going well, to. Natural, yeah? Yeah, we're going to wrap it. We're going to wrap, we're going to do oh. some stone weaving. Stoned weed. Yeah, it's a genuine, actual thing from the internet, what I did find. Yeah. Can you not just find porn like everybody else, please? Well, how, well, how can I do porn in Crafty Queens? There's better things to find on the internet than well, stone weaving. You come up with a better segment, I'm all hands. <laughs> which is very <laughs> handy <laughs> for porn. Kind of hands. Anyway, so, you have a, a, a rock sourced from the very rivers of somewhere near where I live. Um, and what you're gonna do is, you are gonna wrap, weave Sorry, no. string around the thing. So now, what you can do with this is, apparently what it says on the internet, once you've weaved on your walk, Weaved on your rock. <laughs> Weaved once you've on your woven, rock. Once you've woven on your rock. Woven on your rock. <laughs> not walk. We're not doing a rock. Pan. No. Your rock. If you place it in your garden, uh -huh. naturally, as the rain and stuff falls on it, it will grow lichen and I, become what? an object of beauty. But we haven't got time for that. So oh, we're just you gonna... mean like moss? Yeah. All oh, right, okay. Lichen and moss and stuff. Mould, probably. <laughs> um, but we haven't got time for that, so we're going to glue a load of <laughs> onto it. Okay. So, first of all, you can decide what what sort of string you're going to use first. Okay. You've only got two choices. You've got white, rope, 
or Bran String? Bran String. Bran String. Okay. I'm going to go with um, White first. I'll go with Bran first. Um, so turn turn the rock over. I don't know, it, you know, I don't think there's a right side and a wrong side of a rock. Just whichever way. Oh, and a bit of glue. Okay. A bit of hot glue. Um, and um, glue your bit of string on. Just hold it in place. Very simple, this, Mike. Very simple. Wrap... <laughs> Wrap your string around the rock. And then when you're happy, then you snip off the excess. Happy is a strong word, but okay. And, I mean, we could be making a bowl out of a bowl, so I wouldn't push it. <clears throat> is glue the bit onto the underside okay. to keep it in place. Da -da -da. And what have you got? An old rock wrapped in old rope. <laughs> but then... <laughs> What you're going to do is, on the diagonal, uh -huh. you're going to wrap your other rope or string right. to create a crisscrossy pattern. So again, a bit of glue. We're we not actually weaving it then? No, not really. Oh. That's just what it said. Okay. I mean, if you want to weave it, you can weave it. I can't, I've gone too tight now, I can't. Oh, oh, okay. Not often I get to say that as well. No. Mm. And then, on the... Other way. Mm. Kind of. Do it. Oh, I'm not. I'm not angry at it. I'm. I'd actually. You could. You could probably pay a pretty penny for this, in your, in your local. Haberdashery. Budgeons, yeah. Is this right? Let me have a look. No, you've gone the wrong way. You need to go oh, horizontally. All oh, right, like a 90 degree angle then? Yeah. That sort of thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you want to create a different pattern. Because what I... I sh ooh, stab myself in the face then. Oh, Do it. My, my, my scissors have got a life of their own. The haunted, haunted scissors. Um, is... So I'm going to glue that when you're happy with the... pattern. You glue... It again. <sighs> it smells a bit. Why does everything smell of beef? <laughs> My drink smelled of beef, and this smells of beef. <laughs> beef. Okay, so once you've, <laughs> once you've, you've, have you? How are we doing there? You've Wait. gone very quiet. <laughs> yes, I have gone quiet. So I'm, I'm fine. I'm getting there. I'm just. The glue is melting the white rope. Is it? Yeah. It's not done that on mine. It's obviously you're not as, as hot stuff as I am. Okay, so now, if this was going to go in your garden, you'd stop yourself there. You'd go, that's it. i myself before I started putting rope. <laughs> I'm done. It's ready for the garden. And you would put it, perhaps with one or two more, not just one, in your, in your, in your little garden. And then as the seasons pass, you'll go, what's that? in my garden and then realise what you did. What on earth is that? The underside of yours is not very attractive. No, it's not, but I've, I've had to, I've had a slight issue with glue and remember me saying that, that the glue was melting my rope. I didn't know it would melt your rope. Well, now you do. It did say it was craft rope. Okay. Right. Done that. Okay, so turn it to the, to the... Presentation. Set. Oh, that's quite nice. Mine's a little, mine's, right. So... You know, put it in your garden, it will grow lichen and moss and, and that kind of stuff. But we're gonna we we are, we're gonna kind of add stuff on it. Okay. So you've you've got a selection of greenery, uh -huh. which you may choose to glue on however however you would like. You can snip off the ends. Got some I succulents. I have got um um a selection of of autumnal dried things um, that I'm just gonna glue on. <laughs> In an appealing manner. Ah! <sighs> you okay there? It's just a little bit hot. But I don't need... I don't need the first aid kit. Nor was it offered, to be fair. Um, I asked if you're okay. What more do you want? So I have I have some little... Conkers. Oh. That, that I did collect. <laughs> that I did collect in the autumn time. And have um, 
have um, you've purposely kept hold of for this. Purposely kept hold of them because they were in a, they were in a jar for decorative purposes. Decorative purposes. In my ass. In your ass. In my ass. Why are you keeping conkers in your ass? Just by you know love beads like everybody else. I think. Do you know what? I'm going to glue these berries on, and I'm I'm not going to do any more. Well, look at yours, Mike. Yours is yours is yours is very. What do they call it? <laughs> the word you're looking for? Agricultural. No. Um, herbaceous. Thank you, Gallery. Yes, herbaceous. Very herbaceous. Is herbaceous the right word? I don't know. You don't have to use all of them, Mike. Yes, I do. More is more. Because you're letting me down. I've gone. I've gone very, very minimalistic. I know that's not like you at all. But that, I, but that, you know, if that came through your window, you'd be really pleased, wouldn't you? You go, oh, that's lovely. I'll pop that on the. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd be thinking. Someone throw a rock through your window. <laughs> I'm ordering how decorated it is. I'll pop that on my mantle once I've been to A and E. Let's have a look. Hold it up. Hold it up for the viewers to see. So you know, it wasn't staying still. So mm -hmm. I had to put a lot of glue on the bottom to hold the rope together. Oh. Yeah, yeah, can't get if you can't get any peen or any vagine, be a crafty queen. Yours is very... Um, I have a feeling that's going to become one of your Christmas ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I'm just, uh, it, I'm, I think it's going to go on one of the shelves. Because it's beautiful. Oh, oh. I need to try and peel this off the, the table. because it's Try, try. <coughs> oh. Oh, well done. Thanks. You. Look how much glue there was on that. I know there was a lot. Do you know what? I've forgotten, though. I got your present because it was your birthday, wasn't it? It was a while ago, yeah. How yeah. old did you turn? 40. 40? Yeah, naughty mm -hmm. 40s. Oh, is that what they call? Well, yeah. Um, yeah, I bought you a little present. Oh, thank you. Beautifully wrapped. Isn't it? Yeah. It took me moments. Well, opening the envelope and then just bringing it in. Oh, it's some sort of penis turtle. Lovely, isn't it? Do you want some? Do you want just some flowers in it? Why, why, why has it got a hole in the bottom? Because you can plant a real live plant in it. Like what? I mean, look at this, look at the testicles. <laughs> <laughs> that is a thing of beauty. Slightly smaller than one envisioned when one ordered. But that's from that's wish, wish, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Reason why you've not been in the office waiting for the wish. <laughs> but you could still. That's that's wonderful. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, you're so welcome. I think this is so precious. I might have to keep it here so it doesn't get damaged. I I think so. Yeah, too. I think oh, yeah. it's so special. I need to keep it here, mm. and just so nobody steals it, so they oh, can't see no. that it's there. I'm going to pop it's it in, in this cupboard, cupboard oh, out of need... people, where's... so no one can see it. Where's the cat? So that way, I know it's safe. Where's the cat? Oh, I had an accident while you were away. Yeah. But that's almost the end of the show for now. Remember to join us on social media at the Could TV. Our website is could.tv, and of course on YouTube and podcast services, it's Chewing the Could. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Look at go. Shopping for the TV.